My name is Jackson and I love pizza. Yeah. Hey everyone, welcome to Downstairs with Daddy. I'm Jackson Flowers and this is John Flowers. So Dad, what are we going to be doing today? Today we are going to be doing this Build and Grow Monster Truck Assembly Kit from wow. Lowe's. Shout out to the people from Lowe's. Cool. Exactly. We did one of these last week. Uh, Jackson, you want to tell everybody what was your experience like with this? Yeah, it was fun building it. I had fun playing with it at the end, and yeah. Yes, just like Jackson said, building it, something that he had an opportunity to build from scratch. The instructions are inside, all of the parts and pieces, gives you step-by-step -step, uh, information on how to put it together successfully. There are also nails in here, and with nails comes what? The hammer. Exactly. Jackson has his own 8-ounce hammer. Last week, we tried to use my hammer, which is a 16-ounce hammer. A little too big, a little too heavy for somebody his size. So if you have any children at home, you guys are doing any projects and you want them to help, make sure you get them a proper weighted hammer. Um, all the parents at home that are watching this, you guys know that this kind of packaging is almost impossible to open. So I will be opening this with a razor, again, Parents only should be utilizing this to open these packages. So, since we're all about safety, Jackson, mm -hmm. what are we going to be wearing? We're going to be wearing our um, safety goggles. Yes, to protect our eyes. There are nails involved, and he will be banging on the monster truck to put the nails in. We don't want any accidents to happen, so we're going to protect our eyes. So, we're going to put our safety goggles on, and... We'll see you guys in a couple minutes. So we're back, we have our safety goggles on, we have all of the parts and pieces outside of the packaging, including nails, which are all over the table, but that's fine. <laughs> and Jackson is gonna look at step one, and we're gonna start putting this bad boy together. Let's do it. All right, so the first one is, wait a minute. Uh-oh. Is this all Spanish? What's the first step? The first step is locate the bottom panel lower truck body with fenders and the upper truck body. Use four metal nails to attach as, some, as shown. All right, so let's get going with that part. So okay. it looked, according to the um, to the instructions, the piece that I'm supposed to be using is this I'm assuming. Wait, is it this one? So the next one is locate the roll wait wait locate the roll bar and attach it to the truck bed using two short nails and shown. So now we're using short nails, Dad. Okay. And also these guys. Wait, okay, yeah. These little guys. Ow. Am I fitting it right? Wait, I got it then. I'm gonna put that in, and we're gonna put this in just in case, because, you know, we're gonna be... I don't want you to hit your finger. Go ahead. All right. Oh, yeah. Bing, tra, bing, tra, bing, tra. Right. Right. Good job. Good job. Good job. Got it. And this oh, I'm already flat. Already in. Right, because it's, you got pressure coming from both sides, so that's fine. So this part is... Together, so what's part three? So part three is attach the truck bed to the body assembly from step one using where four middle nails are shown. Okay. Good enough for me. Oh no. Is this it? To step number four. four, what do we got? So step number four is using two long nails attach the cab to the truck body. Again with the cab, yay! So these are these are too long. Yeah. So you got your <laughs> too cab. Too long, I get it. So it's facing this way. So yeah. 
All right, so remember, line them, line them up, get a screw in there, make sure it's all the way through, and it's going through the hole already there. So, so that's how you know you're in place. All right, so all right. now we're good. Now we just need the hammer so I can aim and drive. Good job, good job. Yeah. You got your next one lined up. Go ahead. First one first. Okay. You feel comfortable with that one? Yeah, I think All so. Right, just put my finger. Good job, hey. buddy. So we got all four wheels on. We're going to the next step. So everyone, this is our monster truck. How do you guys like it? Nice. Pretty cool, right? And um, it came with these extra, like, I guess these are like these cars that, you know, when you go to like the monster truck shows, you to, like you sometimes see like the cars, the crush, like the crushing cars. So like the monster, monster car, the crush cars. Four cars. I'm just kidding. <laughs> they do their own thing. was a success. Shout out to you, Jackson. Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. And to all the parents at home that like to do projects with your kids, I think it's great. Um, kids need to take a break from the computers. If you're working from home or the kids are doing uh, virtual learning, they're probably burning their eyes out all day on the computer screen. They go from the computer screen to the video game, from the tablet to the phone. But if you got projects like these, I say invest in them. Give the kid a chance to do something constructively with their time. Um, it's art, it's fun, and it puts, it gives you and your child, you and your children some time to spend together doing something that's creative, constructive, and fun. You learned a lot, right? Yep. Exactly. And who knows, next week, Jackson may have another tool in his toolbox. We'll just take it one day at a time. We got a hammer today, might have a screwdriver, might have some vice grips. I want to thank you guys for watching us, as usual, downstairs with Daddy. Um, we had fun, right? Yep. Awesome. We're hungry, so we're gonna. I'm about to run to the store to grab us something to eat. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace. Let's go. We gotta be up soon.